hello and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a kind of makeup themed video but it's still going to be kind of a small business saturday video because the makeup company is a small business so if you like supporting small businesses or you just want to find maybe another gothic makeup brand then this video will be for you so do subscribe and keep on watching the brand that i'm going to be talking about today is an american brand so this is another haul of kind of the things i got on holiday i did include this stuff in my christmas haul because this is what i spent some of my christmas money on but i did want to do a separate video on this to review for you because i hadn't heard of this company for too long i kind of knew about them a few weeks before i went on holiday so maybe you don't know of them either and i do know a good percentage of my audience is america based so this will definitely be worth it for you and still you can order from the uk it's just a higher shipping price like post american shops so the brand i'm going to be talking about today is a very vampire-y themed makeup shop which is right up my street so this brand is kind of hard to say i did literally just look up the pronunciation and i think it's motet's darm i might be saying that wrong um but that's their name and they've got kind of the vampire and and that translates to bloodsucker so that's why they kind of picked that it does have the pronunciation so i'll put it on the screen in their bio of how to say their name i'm sure a lot of other people struggle this is their business card it is a little bit difficult to read because it is in red writing so it says thank you for supporting their business about the pronunciation and what it means and then it's got their social media there so i will link all of the links i can find to these to their website they are on a website only and i will also link their instagram too so i did buy two items from their shop and they did have a sale on at the time i believe so i did get a palette and also a lipstick i absolutely love like the whole vampire goth look and i've definitely been experimenting more with makeup um probably for the past few months i used to just wear white eyeshadow because eyeshadow really scared me and i didn't know how to blend it but i kind of got over that and now i wear a lot of like red eyeshadow mainly kind of red and gray eyeshadow i was always looking for this perfect vampire palette that didn't have a bunch of colors in that i wouldn't use because a lot of palettes that say they're like a vampire palette have like yellows greens like some other colors that i just really wouldn't get a lot of use out of um like an olive green kind of color so when i found this blood queen palette like this was everything that i had been looking for okay so it says it's currently on pre-order for 25 dollars. i believe i got it for around 20 dollars with a discount so that would be what around 17 18 pounds so not a bad price at all for a small business palette and the packaging of this is absolutely gorgeous so this is what it looks like i love this like gothic font they've used with like the crown and the blood and kind of this ornate border again with their logo and name down there it just has the ingredients on the back and then this is actually kind of a protective case and then the packaging for the actual front of the palette is exactly the same with exactly the same thing on the back it does have a huge mirror hopefully i can show you that without blinding you so it does have a full mirror on the top it's a good size mirror maybe if you're traveling you could definitely use this to do your makeup because it is a decent size the shades of this is definitely as i said what made me pick this one because there's not many shades in this that i wouldn't use and that's what i was really looking for because i didn't want to buy a palette just for like two or three shades so this has 12 shades in total the majority of them are red so i really really liked that about this palette so maybe if you're the same as me you love wearing red eyeshadow and you love the vampire look then this palette will definitely be for you and i loved the shade names of these as well so i'll kind of show you it up close so lots and lots of reds so the first one is bloodlust and that's a very kind of bright blood red it's a bit darker than this one this is more of an orangey toned red and it's a bit lighter and this one's a bit darker than that and then this one is thirst 
The following one is Drained, which I really like the name of. This is more of a peachy colour. It is a little bit more peachy than it's showing on camera. And then there is this one called Fiend. Fiend. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm having a blank moment. Yes, yeah, so there is this one. So these three are mattes and this has a shimmer to it. This is more of an orangey colour with gold glitter in it. Or like a gold shimmer. None of these are glitter eyeshadows, which I really like. This one is a bit more sparkly. Like these two are more kind of proper shimmers. Whereas this one is more like a matte with a shimmer in it, if that makes sense. But none of them are glitters because I can't stand glitters. I just don't get along with them. <laughs> um, so that's the top row. Moving on to the second row, there is Allure Alluring, Alluring, <laughs> which is the one I wear the most. This is actually the one I'm wearing today. There's Temptress, which is this very kind of bright purpley pink. I actually thought I wouldn't wear this, but I'm actually wearing this one today as well. Next up, there's Soulless. This is a gorgeous like purple grey colour. And I will definitely get use out of that. That's one of my favourite kind of greys. And then there's this one called Murderous. Now this is looking kind of grey on camera. But this is actually like a paler version of this. So this is more peachy. And this is like more of a pale skin tone kind of colour. That I used to blend some of these out. Because it kind of matches my skin tone quite well. It does have a hint of pink in it. And it's a little bit darker. But it does do well as like a blending colour. All of the middle row are mattes. And then we've got the four at the bottom. Now most of these are shimmers. So starting on the left there is Compelled. This is again like this colour. So it is like a matte black but it's got lots of black shimmer in it. Rather than like this which is more of like a metallic shimmer. This is a very pretty colour. The next one is called Countess which I really like. This is the perfect blood shimmery red is gorgeous and it, you can also use this as like a shimmer top coat too because it puts nice red glitter i've used this on top of this before and it looks really pretty this one which is fangs this is more of a kind of light goldy champagne shimmer and then the last one is called crucifix and this is more of a kind of a burnt orange i would say it's not really brown it is more orangey so out of this whole palette there's kind of two oranges four reds two kind of neutrally colors um a pinky purple a gray a black and a kind of champagne-y color it's quite a good mix and also a very i don't want to blind you with the mirror but a very unique mix too usually with vampire themed palettes there's always yellows i don't really wear yellow eyeshadow and there's also a lot of browns and i i just don't wear brown eyeshadow the closest ones are probably these two but this is an orange and this is kind of like a burnt autumnal brownie orange so i would still get use out of this because i would wear it with like autumnal outfits so this was just basically the palette of my dreams <laughs> i really like all the shades and i think i will get a lot of use out of them so as i said i did actually wear this palette today so i could do the review and kind of show you how it looks so the colors i wore today are temptress so i just put this this like pinky purple like all over the lid and then i put this color over it which is alluring alluring i don't know how to say that word um to match the lipstick which is also what i'm wearing so this is kind of the look that i got from this palette i'll just show you kind of up close what it kind of looks like i'm quite happy with like the formula of this obviously i haven't used all of the shades i will say you do get quite a bit of fall fallout fallout that sounded really weird from these shades but i was like really like packing the color on so i wasn't really surprised so that that's not really an issue for me but i know with palette reviews that is kind of a big deal so i would say there is fallout in this palette the colors are really nice and pigmented i would say it's kind of easy to blend but i have other eyeshadows that are easier like the baby bat beauty one you can blend in like a few seconds and it's done this one i had to work at a bit more and it kind of stuck to this and it was kind of a line i did find it a little bit more difficult to blend than other eyeshadows but I would recommend this palette. I think it's really pretty. I absolutely love the shades in it and 
yeah i'll definitely get a lot of use out of it so that was the first item i got and then i got a lipstick and again the packaging of this is very pretty and i got this in the shade vampires i really hope i'm saying that right but they've got their branding on the cardboard box and then it says perpetual matte they do have quite a big collection of lipsticks not like huge but like a good amount they've got kind of blood reds this one which is a kind of deep pinky burgundy red they've got nude colors a black like a pinky nude like they've got quite a good selection i think they only do matte lipsticks i could be wrong but that's again perfect for me because i only wear matte lipsticks because i just i, I can't get along with normal lipsticks because as soon as i blow my nose and like the tissue is here it just like like smudges all around my face and if it's a dark color that is not good <laughs> so this is the kind of packaging of the actual tube i like how it fades into this gradient like black to the purple i did swatch this earlier because i was trying to get my eyeshadow to match the lipstick so i kept it on so i could show you so that is what this color looks like so yeah it's kind of like a a pink based burgundy color it's like the perfect vampire kind of color and this is what the color looks like on so as you can see it's not shiny like the maybelline ones like the maybelline matte lipsticks have a very unique consistency where they are a liquid lipstick but they have like this gloss to them yet they don't come off they're very unique this is kind of more like a standard matte lipstick it dries matte like you can see there's no shine to this however i've put this on i haven't like eaten or drunk anything really i've had one sip of my water but that's really not enough to test it so if i eat with this on throughout the day which i'm sure i will i will put a like a comment in the description box for how well it held up i'm predicting that this is going to be like the some of the newer baby back beauty lipsticks where it kind of comes off most of it i'm not expecting this to really hold up but i could be proven wrong so i will let you know it is quite a small tube for a liquid lipstick and it's got quite a small applicator i did kind of struggle to put this on but it could just be because i'm not used to this kind of shape i am very used to the maybelline so it's kind of quite small and it does have a slight angle to it so it is really nice to apply it just is quite small to kind of fill in your whole lips but that does mean you can get it really precise if you want to kind of do this area and like down here it is quite good to get those areas but i would say i spent a lot more time doing this like putting this on than other lipsticks but again that could just be because you know i'm not used to this i'm trying it for the first time i usually do struggle the first time if i'm using a different applicator for lipsticks so i am sure that that's what that is <laughs> just me having trouble yeah i will let you know how this wears i'll just give you like not too much of a close-up but you can kind of see it with the eyeshadow this is when the eyeshadow looks terrible and i'm editing this like oh so yeah this is what it looks like it's like a uniform color the only thing is when i put it on it was a little bit patchy but that's not the first time i've had that with a burgundy lipstick it could just be that it is a very dark color um because actually out of my whole maybelline lipsticks and i have like 12 <laughs> out of all the 12 colors i've tried the burgundy has been the only one that kind of needed touching up it wasn't like a one swipe kind of thing so I would say you kind of have to put more effort to put this on. Um, but hopefully maybe it will wear well. But I am really glad I got this um, to try. I think at the moment I would still prefer my Maybelline ones. But it is also very nice to support a small business. I'll put some photos on the screen of like other things that they do. They've also brought out this really cool eyeshadow. And I'd love to try it. And it's a black. And then in the light it shifts to red. It looks incredible. I would absolutely love to try that. We will see. <laughs> do let me know in the comments if you've heard of this brand. I'm not going to attempt their name again. Or if you've tried anything from this brand before, do let me know. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do hope you did. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.